TYT Sports, everybody. Ben Mankiewicz, Chris List, managing uh, editor of Roto-Wire. Uh, so the NFL has had this uh, long-standing draft rule where you can't enter the NFL draft until your th- your classes, the end of your classes, third year. Sometimes that for some people that means redshirt sophomores, uh, but for guys who play their freshman year, they got to spend three years in college. Either way, you got to spend three years in college. It is the rule that uh, uh, baseball has as well. You can be drafted out of high school in baseball, but if you go to college. Same year. You got to spend three years. Oh, really? Years. Is that that's true? Right. I didn't know that about three baseball. Years. Yeah. And that's the rule that some people would like to see instituted for basketball. Basketball's one year. Basketball's one year. That's terrible. That's been incredibly damaging to college basketball. Right. Because guys come, they come in they go for like and, five months. They're yeah. not even really part of the campus. Right. Um, but uh, if you make them at least stay until the end of the sophomore year, you're at least a, a student at the university yeah, which, for some period of time. Which is such crap. Anyway. I know. But, like, yeah. uh, but it would help. But Or you just say, look, you can go to go at, out of high school. Right. Or well, you go to Europe years. for a year too. Sure, to play. and that's yeah. what and that's and that's what baseball does, and that's, and that's what football does. Yeah. But now the issue would be we're seeing this kid from LSU, Leonard Fournette. He has 631 yards in three games. He has back-to-back 200-yard games, and he looks like Herschel Walker. I mean, he is big and he is fast. And if you told me that this guy couldn't play in the NFL now, you'd be like, you're insane. Right. You're not you're not paying attention. Yeah. Um, so there is some pressure now, and there's been some talk in SEC circles that it would behoove Burnett to not play football next year or go to court, challenge the rule. Right. Tough, though, because it's collectively bargained. But go to court, although Tom Brady won. <laughs> go to court. Well, collectively uh, bargained by pros who are already in the pros and not you who's not being represented by the – I don't really understand how that would cover you when you're not even in the class that was bargaining. Well, that would be, I'm sure, part of the, part arg- of the argument. Part of the yeah, argument. Yeah. But nonetheless, the, right. you know, judges usually don't want to insert themselves right, right. into collectively. But, but that said, it's not inconceivable that it could be challenged. Right. There are ways to do it, as you mentioned. But the other idea is that people are suggesting that Fournette should not play next year. Right. Sit it out right. so that he doesn't get hurt, as Todd Gurley of Georgia did. Uh, and we all know you don't need an example of it. It's football. You can right. get hurt at any moment. Right. Um, don't what play. about the guy in the 49ers that got drafted, Marcus Lattimore? He's right. out. He's out of football. Out of football. That's right. I mean, he was going to be a right. very a, high round pick. Right. That's right. Top. He pick. should not have played. He should not have played. That's right. So, uh, but so the suggestion is for that finish this year. Or by the way, if this is your suggestion, stop playing now. <laughs> yeah. Except then you would have a year and a half without any contact. But anyway, this kid is young. He's terrific. Uh, uh, so two different issues: should the NFL change its rule, uh, and should Fournette sit out next year? But before we get there, before we get there, we have Fournette who uh, went to, I think, St. Augustine or St. Augustus. Is that right? Uh, which one did he go to? He went to St. Augustine High School uh, in New Orleans, and we have a, we have some tape of him. And I bet, I bet he looked good against high school kids. Just a thought.
Yeah, Le'Veon Bell did that yesterday. I know, he looked yeah. like, yeah. No, uh, Le'Veon Bell, I'm now learning. Not oh, is that true? Le'Veon, I all the announcers are saying Le'Veon. Um, I think. Um, so, uh, uh, yeah, look, the kid looks uh, great. He looks great in, in college. Uh, should he sit out of here? I mean, should he, from what standpoint? Like, just for himself? Like, what's the smartest thing? What's the right thing? thing to do? Well, I think, like, it's right to sit out unless they were to pay him, and they're not allowed to pay him because he's basically making a whole bunch of money for his college and for the NCAA, and he's putting himself at risk, right? So he should probably sit out. The only thing is, you know, the NFL, like, everybody's kind of in, in this together in the sense that they won't look kindly on his character if he sits out. Now, they probably still won't be able to resist the talent, but it will be one of those things like when J.D. Drew didn't sign with the Phillies, you know, and it's perfectly his right if they're not going to pay him what he thinks he's worth, but it was just kind of a, I don't know if that was a good move for him. It wasn't an injury thing, although he's so injury prone, he may as well have been playing football. Um, but it was just one of those things where you, you get your career off to a bad foot. Now, I, now, morally speaking, I think he has every right to do it, but whether it's worth it, like, is it worth preserving, you know, your health and not having the injury risk uh, and then taking the hit that's sort of like, what, you're just ditching out on this and waiting till next year? Yeah, I, I, first of all, a couple of things. Uh, from uh, Fournette tweeted in, react, in, in response to all this, I will never jump ship. I am drowning with my brothers. Right. Might have used a different metaphor. Right. Um, <laughs> right. Uh, We're all going to get injured together and destroy <laughs> our futures. Yeah. And then he also added, never get lost in this fame stuff. Keep God first. Everything else will follow. Believe that. Les Miles, his coach at LSU, uh, says he can't conceive of that happening. To me, there's a lot of people out there stirring the pot. Miles said in his weekly radio show, Let's just make a controversy. Why not? Okay. I can't imagine that Leonard will be sitting anywhere inactive for a fall. I just can't possibly imagine that. So, Mile, I'm well, sure the LSU fan base. Can would you imagine if your top three fantasy picks just get hurt tomorrow? No. He but, doesn't want to imagine that because it's, it's the end for him. Don't you think that if Fournette decided not to play, the LSU fan base would understand? Uh, no. <laughs> those those fan, SEC fans, they got so much else going on in their lives. I'm yeah. sure they just they just say, well, you know, won't worry about football yeah. this fall. I mean, I don't know anything about college football. It just, it just look, it seems to me like at some point, right, they've got to unionize or something. They're, you know, these guys are over 18 years old. They're making, you know, I don't know, billions of dollars for networks and, and the NCAA and the colleges, and they're not getting paid. And everybody knows that's ridiculous. Uh, and it's like they're not really there for the education, right? I mean, they're, they're leaving after a couple of years. They're not... You know, I don't know how seriously they're taking their classes. Plus, I think, you know, high-level college football or basketball is a full-time job, right? I mean, it's not like you – it's basically like having a full-time job. Yeah, and the, so, you know, I, I, don't, I just think it's just going to – Yeah, he, just should, one of those. he shouldn't have to make this difficult decision. It's an unfair system that right. forces him to make right. a decision where he either betrays his teammates by not playing, which is a totally understandable decision, but right. which p many people, mostly right. LSU fans, but some in the NFL will judge him for. Um, smart NFL guys won't. They'll be like, great, he's not going to be hurt. How do I get this guy? How right. do I? Uh, and now that we're paying him to do this job, he'll stick around. Right, he'll stick it's around. It's like, wow. That's what he wants. Know, he, wants to, right. he doesn't want to work for free. Right. Uh, by the way, Adrian Peterson, uh, he thinks Fournette should uh, have come be able to play in the NFL uh, right now. I don't know whether Peterson suggests that, that he should sit out, but uh, we have some video also of Peterson who says that he could have played in the NFL immediately after getting out of high school in Palestine, Texas.
47 should have at least tried to knock him out of bounds there. Football's so easy when you're like the biggest, strongest, and fastest player on the field. Yeah, high school it's, highlights are great. Uh, they're fun to see. So, they can't. They 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 reveal nothing. No, it's hard. It's hard. To, yeah, yeah, anybody would look good uh, there. But yeah, I I mean it's. Yeah, they should be able to play right away, right out of high school. I mean, you can go to the military. Well, how old do you have to be to go to the military? 18. You can probably sign up at 17. I don't even know. At least right. I, I mean, that's, you know, if you can do that, you should be able to play NFL. NFL is rough. You know, the NFL yeah, could, yeah, impose, could, could have that same rule. It wouldn't really affect college football because only the most elite, nobody's, no quarterback is going to get drafted at 18. It's inconceivable. These guys have to go to college. They have to go to college. Um, and... Mo linemen, they're not, these guys aren't strong enough. There's no 18 year old strong enough to play in the NFL. There may be a couple of exceptions, and it's probably just running backs. Right. That is probably who can do it. Maybe there's a guy who's so great that I could see maybe a couple defensive Definitely backs. Definitely a kicker. A kicker could probably play. <laughs> but so a couple of guys might get drafted. But I mean, uh, by and large, the rule that baseball has works. It's a rule that basketball, I think, Here, ought to have too. Here, for at least, here's what they should do. Uh, yeah, at least Here, sophomore year for basketball. Here's a solution. Just like baseball, you call them up mid-season, right? So, you know, it's like LSU is the farm system totally, to yeah, the right. Giants and, yeah. you know, Auburn's the farm system to the Colts and, you know, whatever, and right. you just call them up mid-season. Right, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers <laughs> recall Leonard Fournette from LSU, like, right before the Alabama game. Right. That'd be yeah, great, right, yeah. Right. Uh, anyway, it's, uh, uh, this kid doesn't sound like a kid who's not going to play you think football. He's going to stick around, you think? He's going to, uh, well, one, he has no, his only choice is not to play. Right. And that seems drastic. But it just feels drastic. It is probably the prudent decision. One thing that the NFL has done, uh, I believe, uh, uh, is you can insure yourself now. But it costs a lot of money. And, uh, the, you know, parents ought to be able to take out a loan specifically to insure a kid against a debilitating injury so there's not a repeat of the Marcus Lattimore situation. I mean, those, his, his knees matter. They're worth something. Yeah. And, uh, and he ought to be able to protect himself. But mostly he ought to get paid. But even if, of course, last thing I'll say on this, even if he was getting paid, it pales in comparison, of course, so to what whatever he would, he would make in the yeah. NFL. He'd get pay, he should get paid enough to make the insurance premium payments for his real paycheck. That's right. That's right. All right, Chris, thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Subscribe below, everybody.